What is up, man? 25 Gamers. In today's video, we're going to be taking another look at the CN Spillers Ultimate Team Gameplay here. Um, since <clears throat> last gameplay, I got a Brian Dawkins 80 overall card for my win last week. I also got uh, the ability to purchase my favorite playbook in the game, the New York Giants Offensive Playbook. And on defense, they don't have the 44 defense out there just yet. I think you have to win it or something. I couldn't find it on the market. So I grabbed the, the Pittsburgh Steelers defensive playbook so we can use some 3-4 stuff. I haven't talked a whole lot about the 3-4 this year. And actually, is a, you know, I like the 3-4 really good this year. But the 4-4 is just so balanced and effective that that's what I run. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, we have the Pittsburgh Steelers defensive playbook here um, today. So we're going to run our Sting Pinch uh, defense probably for a little while. Um, I got some new stuff I've been working on out of the 3-4. And so here we go. So starting out, we're playing the the uh, RSL team. I didn't really get a chance to read read his uh, statistics or anything. Oh, okay, it's RS Lloyd 15. So that makes sense why it's called the RSL team. Um, so yeah, this is what we're going to be doing today. Uh, the CN Spillers are still without CJ Spiller, their captain. He's still on the injured reserve. I uh, don't know what happened to him. I don't know how to check what happened to him, but hopefully he will one day return to the team. So starting out here, I just like to set up the Sting Pinch D um, and try to get pressure off that left edge. Really, this D, really the, the cool part about this defense that I'm going to be running with the 3-4 even the 3-4 over are the two main plays. And, and the 3-4 even is going to get pressure off the right edge. 3-4 over is going to get pressure off the left edge. And then, you know, you can just audible back and forth really quick. And with the way this game works, I really don't... I really am not worried about him finding out that I'm audibling back and forth here. So, Also, i got some new stuff I'm going to work on uh, for this 3-4. That's why, I, actually, that's one of the... I kind of wanted to get the 3-4, honestly. Uh, just because I wanted to work on some stuff. I should have grabbed Baltimore's book. Because uh, Baltimore has that sub-2-3-6 that I really like. Um, we also have the one four six. I don't know. A lot of people say the one four six is really good. I haven't really. Think, I don't think it's the best. I mean, it's all right, but it's not. It's not. It's not good enough for me. I don't. I mean, it's not. It's not special. I don't think. So here we're just gonna run the max coverage defense here. Third and one, probably gonna get the first down. So we're just trying to limit it. And there you go. That's exactly what I'm saying. And I got a freaking eighty overall Brian Dawkins on a legend card. And he drops it for me. That's fabulous. Playing Matty Ice here. Watching the Cowboys game while I'm doing this. So hopefully you guys are watching the Cowboys game too. If you're smart, that's what you'll be doing. Because we all know how good the Cowboys are. Uh, we're just going to run him in the middle. Hope to God he doesn't get it. Yep, there we go. And that's the thing. The 3-4 just... It, it's in a good position to kind of hang with everything. He got that first down. Are you kidding me? I hit him in the backfield. What? Uh, let's go to the psycho. We haven't ran a whole lot of psycho. Nickel psycho. Base play invert two fire. Yep. Still the same. Alright, man align that. Dive. Yeah, psycho just. For some reason, guys, the psycho stops running. I don't know why. I mean, I guess it's because it's hard for the offense to identify who their blocking assignment's going to be. I don't know what it is. It has something to do with the AI, I know that much. But it just, for some reason, it just really does a good job against the running plays. So, I think Tony Romo just got hurt. That's phenomenal. That's exactly what I didn't want to have happen. I can't believe we're getting beat by the Minnesota freaking Vikings. I hate them so much. Alright. So, here we go. Set up the basic invert to fire pressure. Should get left edge. She blocked his running back. That's why it getting. That's why it didn't come in. Why? Would, oh, DRC causes a fumble. That was sick. Chapman dives just because he can. Um. So yeah, guys, I've been running that. Uh, I am really excited that I got this um, New York Giants playbook because I mean, really, that's my that's my bread and butter playbook this year. I don't know why I like it so. Well, I know why I like it so much, but. I've actually considered, like, I, I've always tried to transition out of it. I really don't, I don't want it to be my playbook, but for some reason, I just have it so well, it, it, it's so well done, and it, it, it's a very complete playbook. A lot of things you can do from it, 
uh, and the plays in it are just a lot more effective, in my opinion. I mean, there's there's plays that are you know more effective than Giant Slot Trail and 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 some of the other plays that run out of this, but I just really am a big fan of this playbook. I don't really know why. I can't explain it to you. Tony Romo just threw a pick. Golly. But yeah. So I like to. I have like my first drive kind of sketched out before I even go. What I like to do is I'll run that little zone weak run. Then I'll go to that split giant. I'll run the screen, that little screen pass there, and then I'll go into my base. Then I'll get back into the base plays here uh, with Chris Carter. This is going to be really cool to have him in the lineup for these plays. I really like Chris Carter. I'm a big fan of his uh, for what he did with the Philadelphia Eagles and the Minnesota Vikings. More, more so for what he did with the, the Minnesota Vikings. But so get started here, Giant Slot Trail. And that's the user catch on it. I really like that play, guys. I really like that a lot. Um, probably going to stay down the quarter here. No reason to snap this one. I am in the market for a new quarterback. I don't really like Matt Ryan. Um, but I can't find anyone on the market. So I'm going to look after this game. Hopefully I'll win this game and can get some coins and look for him. I can't find a cheap quarterback out there. Like, oh, I didn't mean to call fake punt run. Daggone it. i got to call a timeout. Man, that's stupid, man. Why? Uh, why? Why? Why can't they? Why can't they just take Ask Madden and Gameflow out of the game? It's not even cool. Like I don't know. I mean, I guess it's for people. I don't know why they have it in the game. And that's why I really like that giant slot trail. It acts like a wheel route and a drag route at the same time. That's I haven't found any other play that does that. And that's you know that's kind of why it's special to me. I don't know. What playbooks do you guys like? I mean, I think the Giants is the most complete playbook for a... But but then again, you know, it doesn't have read option. That's the one thing it doesn't have in it. No read option at all. With how effective the read option is in this game, I've debated switching back to it. Uh, switching to like a playbook like Kansas City. has a lot of read option in it, but it still has some really good passing plays. Um, but I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm going to do. Don't quite know. Um... But I really am a huge fan of this formation. This is my base formation here. This normal wing New York. And I uh, just love using this as much as I can. Uh, should get a touchdown on this play here. Carter. Oh, look at that tightrope. Pretty nice uh, pretty nice play there. I like to use that and uh, when I want to take a shot downfield kind of situational play there. Like I said, the, the beauty of this is there's a lot of plays that can run out of this formation that aren't just giant slot trail. So it's not just a two, three play scheme. It's more of a you know six, seven, eight play base scheme. And then I have all other formations where I have three. I have kind of like those three play schemes from other formations, like plays like um, the empty, empty giant. I don't use that play that formation enough. I need to start using it a little bit more, and I'll show you how I use that formation later in the game. Uh, y you'll probably be able to see it. I got the trips tied in in here, uh, which is you know obviously a really good play for play action slot corners. My favorite play out of that. And just a lot of things you can do with this playbook. It has a lot of good formations. So, all right, back to defense here. Um, the two-three-six will is one of my favorite defenses in the game because it's so simple to run. I've I've actually been considering running it as a base formation. And basically, what you want to do is you just want to come out. Excuse me, run commit down. Globally zone your linebackers, and that should have been a pick. Gosh dang it, Cromarty. Um, globally zone your linebackers after you run commit so that the, 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 the that they will recover in the pass. And then you just you just kind of sit there and just kind of fill him out. And I also like to option play quarterback just in case I like to run read option. Basically, this is just a really balanced defense. Um, it's not great against anything. It's not great against the run, really. It just kind of discourages people from running. A lot of people don't like to run against run commit. So when you use these plays like this... You know, obviously. Alright, here we're going to get Cromartie. Alright, I accidentally, accidentally passed him in there, so I messed up the play, but luckily he luckily he was passing. If he would have ran, he would have got a lot of yardage there. We're going to mess with the 146 a little bit, too, this game. I haven't messed with the end game at all. I'm going to try out some... Try out some stuff, guys. I like this Pittsburgh Steelers playbook. I, my favorite 3-4 playbook is probably either... There's some, there's some really good ones out there. Arizona uh, is pretty good. Uh, Pittsburgh is really good. I really like Baltimore. It's probably my favorite just because of 
it, both wars are Houston's because it has that two three six uh, flex or, or excuse me two three six normal. I really am a big fan of that. So, all right, that's the one four six. I don't know why the one four six. A lot of people like that formation. I still haven't quite figured out why. It's driving me insane, guys. All right, two fifty one left to go in the Cowboys game. Dallas has the ball, so. Ball's in our court right now. We got to get down. We got to score. Looks like Minnesota's going to punt. We got Dwayne Harris back there. We should be fine. But uh, how you guys enjoy my Madden Ultimate Team? Let me know. Let me know what you guys want to see from it. If you want, if you want me to walk you through kind of like my off, my outside of the game accusations where I go through and buy, you know, auction and, and whatnot. But I really enjoy this. Uh, it gives me an opportunity to play something for fun. Uh, in this game, you know, I mean, Madden's fun, but you know, it's also, you know, I'm really competitive with the game. So, and he loves to block his running back. Golly! All right, guys, I'm telling you what, though, Des Bryant is killing me right now in the Cowboys. If you guys are watching, or if it paid any attention at all, he had like, he's been, he's just like a freaking nutcase. I don't understand what's going on with him right now. I thought he had turned a corner in the off season, but. Guess not. I don't know what's going on with him. It's really annoying the crap out of me, though. So that that should have been an interception. Dang it! Uh, I'm gonna hop back into the one five five. The one five five is gonna. What he's been doing this so far this game is a lot of blocking of the running backs. So I'm just gonna run some max coverage defenses, um, just to kind of fill him out. I'm still gonna be using some of the old plays like overload three seam and whatnot, but it's gonna be a heavy dosage of uh, two man under. And, and, and maximum coverage defenses for what this guy's been doing because he's he's really starting to kind of show me you know he's really his idea is he's just going to block guys and he's not going to let you pressure him so when they start doing that and then you just play drop back defense three guys three guys right there that's ridiculous gosh slant route a slant route I got uh, a slant route ladies and gentlemen mmm how annoying is that? How annoyed do you guys get when you get beat by like a slant? Who throws slants? Honestly. Alright. So same same thing, different story there. Another slant. I freaking shaded him. That's right, you damn. Dad gone. Cromartie is causing fumbles like it's his job right now. That one's probably gonna be overturned. I hope it doesn't get overturned, but it probably will be. Yep, it's going to get overturned. So, uh, so I, I still have the bounce playbook. I, I think you can actually get rid of them, though. I think you can, like, sell them. Like, sell your playbooks on the market. So, like, I, I could get rid of the bounce playbook and keep the Giants playbook. But I kind of like the, uh, the, ba uh, the multi-D. I, you know, I mean, you had the nickel strong. You had the... Uh, um. Uh, what else? What else did you have? Shoot, I forgot already. Counter. Oh my gosh! Look at that. See that I was saying, guys. Linebackers, man, they just. Mm. But uh, yeah, the nickel strong. You had the three, a couple three fours, a couple four threes. Um, and you had the five two, which five two is a really. It's not a formation you're gonna you're gonna hang your hat on. But it is a formation that, in my opinion, uh, is is very effective. That's what I'm saying, guys. The five, dude, I love the psycho guys. I might just run this for the rest of the year. Like it's so simple. Like literally, you just come out and you you stop everything. You can come out and cover four, so you can access all your coverages, and you can set a blitz out of cover four, cover three, cover two, two men under. Boom. I don't know, guys. What do you guys think? Here, I'm going to show you. I'll send the pressure out of uh, two man under. I'm going to shade those guys inside, and i got to watch out for the tight end. That's pretty much it. And there you go. Look at that. That's that's your man zone blitz compliment. Love that. Love that. It's just so simple. You just, whatever you want to do. You want to run max coverage? Well, you globally zone your linebackers. You want to run a pressure? You globally blitz them. You want to set up a base play? Well, then you come out in your cover four and set up a base play. Or you can come out and invert two fire or overload their seam or whatever play you want to come out in. This is just a really balanced defense. It's very simple. It's very dumb it down. I'm thinking about maybe doing another scheme. 
breakdown on it because it is a very good um, it is a very good play um, a very good uh, play breakdown here we got cover four because of the situation we're just gonna watch out for that um, corner route there we go there's the sack and now we have a shot at getting maybe a field goal and that's that's the name of the game when you try to go for it like that I don't please don't quit please don't quit thank you I was hoping he would not quit. I really get it. Really irks me when people quit the game, like unless you're unless it's an obvious. I mean, unless it's like late in the game, like and it's like three possession difference. I mean, but when you just quit, like when you get stopped once, that really irks me. All right, so this is one of the many schemes I run. I actually broke it down last year, and I threw a pick on it. Man, AJ Green. Did the ball go through your hands on that one, buddy? That's one of the many schemes I break down. Uh, it's just, it's the uh, gun normal wing trips to New York or something like that. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's... Oh, Des Bryant. Thank you, Des Bryant. You needed something. Gosh, man. Thank you. Finally made up for it. He had a huge catch there. But anyway, guys. Um, all right, so Hail Mary times. So we'll just back up. Get the deep blue out there. One thing I really like doing, and I didn't get to do it there because I wasn't thinking about it, is just run the cover four pressure that I ran that last time, and then just put the middle linebacker, or put, excuse me, put the uh, one of the purple, the, whoever's in that purple zone in a deep blue zone deep, and then you cover the deep. But, all right. All right, so we get ball at half. Uh, not exactly the smoothest day for me on offense right now. Unfortunately, I was just make made a couple of mental mistakes, and, and obviously on that one catch, I didn't make the catch the way I wanted to. So that's part of the way that thing cookie crumbles. But the cool part about this offense, guys, is it's the same. It it sets itself up for success. It's like a, it's like a it's, there's a chess match out of everything I do here. Like I run this zone week a lot, but I run it because I'm trying to set up a play I'll be running later on in the game. Uh, from the same look, and uh, it's in many of the, it's in many single back ace playbooks, but uh, you know something, it's it's definitely in like I know it's in the Colts book. I think it's also in the Manning book, or excuse me, the Denver book. Look at Arian Foster, man, monster, monster. Way to fill in for C.J. Spiller, man, Dallas. I didn't even know that happened. I didn't even get to see that. Dallas's defense is what kept him in, has kept him in this game for sure. Offense has been struggling lately. They're the number two offense in the NFL, but, man, they've been struggling like it's their job. But, okay, so here's where I like to go to this um, five wide. Uh, every now and then, I'll, when I come out in this um, split, this is basically after I run that run, I'll come out in the split to give my running back a little breather. And then, uh, so I'll use the dual tight end package. So I have, basically, this is just like a, it's three wide receiver, two tight end personnel. And... So you you it's actually a five wide kind of personnel almost, depending on how good your tight ends are. Whereas me, I've got Shannon Sharp, Jimmy Graham, who are really pretty good tight ends. And then I can go to all my five wide formations, and I treat the trips tight end like a five wide formation because I really don't run out of it. I really always always motion the guy out, so motion the running back out. So it's almost like a five wide as well. So that's kind of how I use that. Brandon Marshall, beast mode. I love Brandon Marshall. Dang, he's good. Uh, that's the thing I love about this team that I have in this. In this, uh, I love my receiving core right now. I mean, obviously they're not the best overall, but just like their names, Chris Carter, great route runner, can make all the plays. Um, Brandon Marshall, you know, a big, 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 big receiver who can make those big user catches. AJ Green, uh, just an awesome, amazing overall receiver with size, speed, and strength. Uh, Dallas just scored a touchdown. Now they're gonna have to lock up Minnesota. Uh, we needed that touchdown. That's a pretty pretty exciting game so far, actually. I mean, I, I missed like the first couple seconds of the second half where they got the safety, but or the sack fumble on the end zone. But uh, we needed that touchdown, that's for sure. But I just love this giant slot trail. That route is just sick. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you guys, let me know what other play. What 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 play do you think? Um, what play do you think can, uh, can come, can, can, can rival the effectiveness of the giant slot trail? 
I don't know. I think it's the best play in the game, to be honest. Or the best base play in the game. I just really like it. I mean, it was really good last year. It's really good this year. Um, so, man, Twitter is all over this Cowboys game. Spurt Center tweets, Tony Romo comes through in a clutch. Romo finds Dwayne Harris for the touchdown with 35 seconds left. And then the next one, that's so Romo, Adam Kenny with a question mark. And then the next one, hello, Romo haters. Everyone's calling Romo clutch now. It was against the Minnesota Vikings defense. I mean, now, obviously, I'm going to give Robo his props. He, you know, he played a great game. Des Bryant played a pathetic game uh, to that last uh, drive there. But, man, they needed that. They needed that. Uh, they needed to come through there. They really did. So, here we go. Psycho D. I love this pressure. I don't know. I mean, it, you can get dotted easily. I mean, that's, that's part of blitzing. But, it's just a really good blitzing scheme. I just, I love this. Uh, I love the psycho. It may not be the best defense. It's not the best defense of the game, but it's so simple. So, 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 so simple. Chiefs are 9-0. and um, Chiefs are 9-0, and guys. So, that's pretty cool. All right, cover four uh, is our base play when we're running this scheme. Uh, now we're going to go into the max coverage D. Shoot, I'm baseline that. Got corner routes on the outside. My corner's standing right there. And they just all fall down because it's Madden 25. Ryan Dawkins saves the day. All right, defense just has to lock up. Defense has to lock up for Dallas right now. I mean, like a pick or some. We need to ponder the thought and uh, lock him up. First and goal. Um,. There we go. That should be a pretty good coverage, actually. We got two way pressure coming. Look at that. So simple. Oh my, oh my gosh, man. Mmm. So hard, man. It's so freaking annoying. Gosh. Mmm. Gosh, dang it. That's a heartbreaker. Mm. Oh, man, that's really annoying. I can't believe my dude's standing right freaking there. A gap's wide open. I wonder if he'll test me. Uh, we'll just put McCainus over there. So he sees McCainus there. So this is a really balanced look right there. That's really nice. I love that look. I don't know. What do you guys think of Psycho D? I don't know. I like it. Another. Oh my gosh. Just throw the ball at my players. They won't catch it. Golly. Oh, that's so annoying. Need a sack. Oh, we just got a sack fumble. Oh, we just got a sack fumble. Dude, Dallas defense, guys. They may not be the best defense in the game, but their freaking defensive line. How much has their defensive line came through this year? With injuries to Anthony Spencer, with Jay Ratliff being shipped off to the Browns. Look at me taking it back for six. Guys like Kyle Wilbur, Everett Brown. No-name guys. We don't even know who they are. Everett Brown played for the, I think he played for the Panthers a couple years ago. Wilbur. Who knows who Wilbur is? He's been on Dallas's roster on the practice squad. I mean, guys you wouldn't even think of coming through in the clutch right now for us. I am so freaking proud of their defensive line, that's for sure. Not as proud um, of their secondary, that's for sure as well. Secondary has not been has not been as good as advertised. It's actually been a lot worse than advertised. Whew. Man, I kind of want to check out the Saints game. But I still want to see Dallas close it out. Let's wrap up, wrap him up. Here we go. Eight seconds left. Oh, he quit? What a jerk. All right, we'll play one. No, it's already 25 minutes. Um, I'll show you my off-season accusation. Uh, my out-of-game accusations. I'll show you what I'll do here. And then we'll get out of here for today. So, thanks guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate the support. Um, tell me what you guys thought about the psycho defense. Um, obviously, it wasn't dominant, but I think it's pretty effective. Uh, it's a pretty simple setup. Literally two adjustments of pressure set up. I mean, it's really nice. So, uh, just let me know what you guys think about it. It's the same psycho defense I broke down. It's just a little bit simpler. Um, it's not as, 
it's not as uh, I got three messages. What's messages? What? Oh, I bought out. I got the mogul. I'm a m mogul. Uh oh. Wait a minute. What happened here? Two seconds left. Minnesota's gonna have a hail mary shot. That's not gonna be a good thing. So did I win some cash money? I got sixteen hundred bucks. Huh. Well, let's see if we can freaking find a quarterback. All right. Two seconds left, and then we're gonna go to the Jets game, twenty to twenty-six. I wouldn't mind Andy Dalton. Oh, Tony Romo, can I get him? Oh, I can five thousand dollars. Gosh. Let's start with let's start with the cheapest. I like to just buy them now. I could get Fluco for nothing. I could just buy him out. Oh, you can't buy him out. Okay, that makes sense. I ponder the thought. Colt McCoy. I wouldn't mind having Colt McCoy. Russell Wilson. Can I buy him out? Buy him out for six hundred dollars. Oh, okay. Let's keep, let's keep looking. But I definitely would not. Oh, that Troy Aikman, dude. He's my favorite. He's one of my favorite players. They got a 50-yard Hail Mary. Can Christian Palmer even throw the ball that far? Let's see this. And, oh, he got it there. Oh, no, he didn't. All right, Cowboys won. That's what we needed to know. Let's take a look at these. Let's take a look at these. These are actually some decent deals. Aaron Rodgers? I could buy him out for $1,000? Huh. Eh. Be cool if you could, like, check the Kaepernick. Twelve fifty. Andrew Luck. I love Andrew Luck, man. He's he's pretty cool. How do you? Can you check like their? Oh, uh, there we go. That's how you check their ratings. You flip the card over. I'm an idiot. He's got 86 throw power. You got deep accuracy of 81. That's really pretty good. Uh, let me check Aaron Rodgers. He's only got 83 throw power. Man, I wonder what Flacco's got. 86. It's not very good. I ponder the thought. Zeros in every category. Russell Wilson. Give me some speed rating. 81 speed? That's pretty good. Let's compare him with Aikman's throwing ability. No, Aikman can't run. He's got decent speed. 85 throw power. Or 84 throw power. That's not too bad. I don't know. What would you guys do? Leave them in the comments below. Alright, so here's the deal. What we're going to do is, you guys are going to pick my quarterback. It's either Troy Aikman, Russell Wilson, or, uh, actually, let me keep looking one more second. Andrew Luck. Uh, I could get Andrew Luck. So, Russell Wilson, Andrew Luck. Warren Moon's on here. John Elway's on here. John El what, are, what he? what does he cost? 2000 I can't buy him out. Dang it. So, this is as far as I can go. So, it's either Andrew Luck, Russell Wilson... Troy Aikman or Aaron Rodgers. Let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate your support. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this week's uh, video of Madden Ultimate Team. And I hope you guys come back for next week. Be sure, if you're looking for more daily Madden 25 content, to please check out my um, daily videos such as Blitz of the Day and Scheme of the Week's breakdowns that I teach all of the plays that I run in-game. Thanks for watching this week, guys. We'll see you next week.